And as always, when I'm working on the greenhouse, Katie's cleaning. I think that's mostly what she does. It's clean and harvest and plant. But at least the greenhouse is nice and clean and that's a good thing. Hey everybody. I just wanted to give you an update on the light installation, the LED grow lights that we've been uh, talking about over some of the last couple videos of installing inside the greenhouse here. Along with everything else in life, it's taken a lot longer than I thought. Katie's got me doing all kinds of stuff, plus just the, the chores around the farm and doing other things that seem to be breaking. Uh, one of our one of our subscribers said that uh, problems come in threes, and you're exactly right. So we talked about a couple of the other things that happened with the bad snow, but just recently the water line in the, the service tunnel actually started leaking. Don't know why. So I had to fix that, which is, you know, par for the course, right? So I've got everything done, at least the, at least the most important part, which is hanging the boxes, pulling the wire and that kind of thing. And I'm going to show you that real quick. And we should be basically about a day away from just hanging the lights and getting those turned on. So here's what I've done so far.
So the wire I'm using is 10 gauge, uh, two hots and a ground, and that will provide enough electric and supply the amps that we need to do the lights, which are 240 volt. What I did was I used the track, as you saw before in the last video, the super strut, hung by threaded rod. I put two bolts on it. One thing I did notice was I had to put a jam nut on the inside here because these rails were actually turning a little bit because of the weight of the conduit on the one side. And what I did was I basically just did a screw right into the super strut and then I ran the conduit on the side all the way down. These conduits right here are 46 inches long and they're put into each one of these boxes and that'll give me the space I need to hang the lights. If you look up in the middle the hangers will go right through here and the lights will hang off this. So yeah I think it's gonna work great. So this is my feed line from the other side where the tomatoes will be. I have it up over the convection tube and it comes down here and this will be the feed that will feed this line and then on the other side I have it dropped into a, a junction box over there and then I'll have another one of these feeds go into the actual electric that's hung on the posts of the inside of the gutter of the greenhouse. So now that I have all the wires run in the conduit and they're all coming out of the box basically like this, we have to strip the insulation. We're going to use forked connectors to go into the outlets. That'll give us a better contact than trying to put these around the wires. I never like that and it's just not a good way to do it. So these are really easy to install. You put these are uh, made for 8 to 12 gauge wire, so it's just that. You need these special pliers, which are easy to get. Put it in, and then you just crimp down on that fitting. And that will just make a little indent right there. So let's hook up the outlet now. So we have two hots, red and black, and our ground. And then one for the ground. So now it's just putting the outlets into the box. I'll get my screw gun for the rest of these, but this one will do manually. Okay, so this is hanging the driver. Just put these clips down over the super strut.
And there's just two little hooks right here. And that's how simple it is to hook the driver. And then these are the hangers for the lights. And we'll go down just as just like the other ones. And I just lift this up a little bit and put the cord underneath it to kind of hold it into place. And then it just gets fed into here and it's just as simple as pushing it in until that clicks. It's good to go. So I'll just keep hanging the lights and pulling these wires, trying to figure out a way to really kind of manage these wires because I really want them to look nice up here. I don't want to cast any shadows on the plants with big bunches of wire. So I'm going to still work on this a little while, but yeah, I'll just keep going. We'll hang these lights, get the rest of the wires pulled, and I think we've got it. So I hope you like this video. Uh, the weather's starting to change and we're getting lots of condensation inside the greenhouse so that's why you see these little drips on my shirt. But um, stay tuned, we've got a really good video coming up where we're going to be setting up the Beto bucket system with the drain lines and I know Katie's going to be putting the tomatoes in so we'll be filming all that and we've got a lot of things coming up. We've got cucumbers coming in, we're going to start planting up the greenhouse. I think our strawberries are going to be delivered here in a, another probably three or four weeks and that'll all be set up so we've got a lot of really good things going and remember please leave me comments like and subscribe obviously if you like the videos and um, hit that notification bell to keep informed on what's coming up in the future so thanks again for watching our video we'll see you soon